Hi there. This is Ray Glasser with another edition of the Cleveland Tech Report. Tonight we're going to be talking about special effects in VCR, special effects in home video recorders. Special effects are kind of funny. Like anything else in life, the more you want in something, the more you've got to pay for. And this is also true in home VCRs. Uh, if you want slow motion, still frame, frame by frame playback in a VCR, you're going to pay more for it. Now right over here is an example of what special effects are in videotape recorders. This is actually slow motion playback of the opening intro to the tech report that we're using tonight. Now we're going to show you here on TV what these special effects are, what they look like on TV, and why you're going to pay more for them. We're also going to cover real, real lightly how they work inside the machine. Okay, here we go. Okay, now the machine that we're going to be using tonight for this demonstration is my own Toshiba Beta Hi-Fi, which has special effects crystal clear in both the um, Beta 2 and Beta 3 modes. Now one point about this particular machine, all the special effects are controlled from this remote control device that is battery operated and wireless, which is standing right here. We're going to show you right now what these things look like on TV. We're starting off now with what is called a still frame or freeze frame. This is one frame of the video that has stopped the action. Okay. Now you can get this on both beta and VHS by the way. This is not only uh, available on the Betamax type machines. Now we're going to go in a slow motion. Otherwise known in some senses as frame by frame playback. This is actually playing back the tape at one frame at a time. Now for you people who have been in film in a number of years, you're probably pretty familiar with this because this is actually playing back the same way that film does if you wanted to, one frame at a time or a still picture as it were. Now, on this particular Toshiba model, this has what's called variable speed slow motion, which means you can vary the speed. You can make it go as fast or as slow as the machine can handle. Now right now, we're going at the super slow speed. This is actually playing back one frame at a time, which is also known as extremely slow, slow motion. We're going to push the speed button now on the slow motion control and speed this up a little bit. Here we go. Now we're moving a little bit faster. Now we can keep pushing the button and really increase this to go as fast as the machine will allow. Here we go. This, by the way, is from one of those famous uh, kung fu or karate movies. One nice thing about this particular machine is you can stop the action anywhere you want, right in the middle of going slow motion, as we'll show you in a couple seconds here. Okay, right there I froze in that particular frame. Now we can go right back to slow motion and the thing won't jump or glitch or anything like that. Now this machine has got four video heads, which we will cover later. A machine with two heads, such as your low-end Sanyo and Sony machines, don't have this type of uh, nice crystal clear slow motion. There's a freeze frame again. Okay, here we go. Back to slow motion. Now some machines, by the way, don't have variable speed slow motion. Matter of fact, most of them don't. Most of them have, if anything, two or three set speeds of slow motion, usually one quarter speed, one tenth speed, and then one thirtieth, which is a still frame, since there are 30 frames per second in video, as opposed to 24 frames a second in film. So now you've seen how slow motion works, we're going to kick it up all the way to the fastest speed now, which I think is one-fifth of normal speed. Now we're starting to move faster. By the way, this all has no sound to it. No sound. Okay, we're now going about as fast as you can on slow motion on this particular machine. Now, another special effect in VCRs, which has really become quite commonplace, is called picture search uh, in the VHS system, and in beta, it's called beta scan. Now, if you're in the regular play mode, as we are here, you can pass through anything you want, whether it be commercials or content of the tape or whatever, by hitting a button. Here is beta scan. It goes forward and backward. And again, on this particular model, Toshiba, you can increase or decrease the speed of the beta scan to go real fast, or real slow, as we're going right now. Now we're going in very slow beta scan, and uh, you can see there's maybe five or six lines, actually there's about three there, on the TV screen. Now as we speed up the beta scan to go faster and faster, you'll see a lot more lines in the picture right there. 
And by the way, we're, we're really starting to move there. One other point, when you go in the slowest speed, whether it be beta or VHS, the lines become thinner. Now this right here is the beta 2 speed, which of course is the faster of the two speeds. And um, go back in the scan here. <laughs> um, in the faster speed, like beta 2, the lines are fairly thick. Now we're going to go into beta 3 in a second, which is actually the best speed for special effects. And you can see the lines are almost non-existent. They're very, very, very thin. We're slowing down the beta scan now. Now here's something else I want to show you, back to uh, slow motion, which we'll go into in a couple of seconds. This is, is right off my cable. Now, how about that? Most of you up here in Cleveland who have Viacom TV have never seen this look actually like this. Picture isn't all that good there. I'm sorry about that. Let me see if we can help that out a little bit. Okay, hope that's somewhat better. Here's some more slow motion. As you saw, this thing actually prints three uh, letters at a time. And of course, right here, you're getting nothing in the way of any kind of changes because the slide is just being held on the air. Okay, here's some more slow motion for you. I'm going to go real slow now. That's actually how this uh, electronic printer prints. Even misspelled circle, how about that? Now that about ends the special effects I wanted to show from my Toshiba Betamax Beta Hi-Fi model. What you're looking at now is the front faceplate of another Betamax I happen to have here, a portable. This is the Sony model SL2000. Now you might see where it says swing search on there, on the front panel, where it has a slow with two arrows and a forward and reverse with one arrow each. This is another system of special effects. And what this allows you to do is make perfect edits. And we're going to show you that on TV right now. Okay, say that we're running a movie, or we're taping a movie off TV, and we want to catch something at the end and put a second show right after it. Now here's the end of a certain movie that I taped earlier tonight off the Movie Channel, another one of the many premium pay services off TV. Now with the SL2000's type of editing, you can freeze the picture, go back to where CinemaScope ends. You can actually beta scan it back. Freeze it right there by depressing the pause. Now, by using the reverse slow motion like I'm doing here, you can go backwards to the point in between that movie channel slide and the actual end of the movie. Now, there, there's the movie channel slide coming back on again so we can see where it's at. And it's starting to flash there. Now, right here is what's coming next where it says next feature. Now I'm going backwards and backwards frame by frame playback and right there's the movie channel slide. We're going forward now and as you can see they butted up next feature right after the movie channel. Like that. So we can't do a thing about getting anything in between there. There's just no room. Now I'm running forward now in, at regular speed, regular play mode to see what's coming next after this. This mainly is an example to show you how the swing search or Videola feature of the SL2000 works, which is available in more than one Betamax and VHS machine, by the way. We're going backwards now, frame by frame backwards, to the point of black in between the preview and this next feature slide. Now we're going forward to erase that, and right there is where I would make my edit, right in between the black. Now that you've seen what special effects look like on a TV screen, for those of you that might be techno freaks, Here's how they actually work, and I'm going to run through this real fast because this might probably bore most people. This article, which was in Video Facts Number 1, Fall of 83, is extremely good, showing what the video heads look like in the machine and how they do accomplish the special effects. Now, in some of the Sony machines, especially their SL2500 uh, and the Zenith model of the same uh, machine, Sony actually used three heads. Now, the two heads in red there, which are around the, the drum or the cylinder, are for recording and playback. The third head over to the left in the white with the A with one strike is actually the head that helps you achieve your special effects like uh, still frame and all that without any kind of noise in the picture. Okay, Here's a JVC system which used four heads somewhat the same way my Toshiba does. Okay, Now the uh, heads of course are different gaps. Some of them are bigger than others. 
the bigger head gaps, the bigger gaps are for the uh, SP speed and the smaller heads are for the SLP speed. Now here's another forehead system, but uh, these heads are again, actually looking at them, they're all kind of different. There's actually three different sizes there in this forehead system. Now this is a five head system which is used in Hitachi and RCA uh, VHS machines. This is, this is really confusing, but they actually use an A and B head on the extreme left and right for the regular video. The other three heads are all for special effects and this way you can have special effects in both the SP and SLP speed. This means that you can get a crystal clear freeze frame in the fast SP speed as well as in the real slow SLP speed. So that's the basics of special effects in VCRs. Now there's one or two others that we have not covered. Double speed playback and triple speed playback. Uh, found in mostly beta units but now coming on available uh, in the VHS format as well. What you're seeing here of course is good old Bruce Lee again in slow motion. Uh, double speed playback is merely your picture being played back at twice the normal speed without audio. Now in beta hi-fi and probably in VHS hi-fi as well, you do have audio, but they have a pitch control in it so that the pitch is not sped up twice as fast to sound like Donald Duck. It's an amazing new discovery that's come about in the last two or three years and it's just fantastic to hear uh, whether it's music or voice, either one, that's twice as fast, but the pitch is not twice as high. Triple speed playback is an older feature in some of the beta units that they got rid of after about three or four models. They just didn't want it anymore. But they've now brought that back as double speed playback. Anyway, that's the basic story about special effects in VCRs. A real fast uh, look, see at what they are and what uh, they are on the machine as well. This is Ray Glasser then signing off with another edition of the Cleveland Tech Report. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions on these shows or shows that you might want to see in the future, please feel free, as always, to write me in care of Kerry Decker's Nightlife Show at his post office box number. From Cleveland, Ohio, Ray Glasser saying, we'll see you again real soon. Good night.